Poverty has often been pictured as attributable to the individual who made the wrong choices in life, who is not fit for the world of work, who failed to seize the opportunities, who does not deserve help. As if society were a fact of nature, a given that we cannot change. This has a number of perverse consequences. It leads to individuals in poverty feeling shame and becoming invisible in society. It legitimizes discrimination and institutional abuse against those who experience poverty. It gives the wrong impression that only a tiny share of the population is at risk of poverty. And it reserves support to the deserving poor while others are denied help. But poverty is really not a failure of the individual. We should see it instead as a failure of society. A society that fails to recognize the competence of people in poverty. A society that relies on a fetishized conception of merit. A society that does not ensure inclusion, but instead creates exclusion. A society, in short, that imposes uniformity, rather than recognizing the value of diversity. To combat poverty, we should not shame or penalize people in poverty. We should instead create an economy that is truly inclusive, recognizing the potential of each individual, building on the inventiveness of people in poverty and their multiple skills, on the social innovations that they imagine, on the solidarity networks they develop. This is an economy in which each person is not considered a passive recipient of support, but an actor co-constructing solutions. If I can imagine this society, so can you.